Hi and welcome to the Studio Marco Primo. Just got from vacations, time for a new video. And as promised, I asked you a few weeks ago to tell me uh, what about the new versions of Magic Simplitudes. You uh, posted a lot of comments. I'm not gonna read every word, but I'm gonna sum what each of you uh, try to say. And you can pause and read the whole thing if you want. If I'm not uh, accurate about your opinions, please say so in the comments of this video. Maybe I misread a part, I don't know. So let's dive in. St. Nicholas Tableau says that the new Crossfade Editor is the absolutely greatest thing about this release. He also stated that he, in the past, he paid for Sequoia version because of this feature and now it is included in Samplitude. So, a uh, good point for us. Chris Tyen uh, says, Thanks, thanks for this video. Uh, this new release seems a bit boring. Hope we will uh, find hidden features. We'll see. Brian Richards uh, did try the software and find that there is not enough improvement and also wish that there was more skins to choose from. Alfredo Hernandez says that uh, there's not enough uh, new features in the new versions. Bugs that were in the past versions are still there. So for him, it's a fail. Space Funk find the new Fade Editor interesting. Tim McAlpine asks about the weird behavior with the master levels. Actually, uh, they did fix um, the templates that they provide. If you want, you need to create new uh, templates. If you use those that were created by you or open an older uh, project, this behavior will still be there. I did a video about this. Click above to listen to that video. Audio Sound Doctor uh, says that if you need to pay, you better go with Reaper at 60 bucks instead of the amount uh, for the upgrades. Um, of course, those are two very separate and different uh, DAWs, so I'm not sure they compare, but it's a valid opinion. GNK Mirado Beatmaker Official says that he loves the software, but the workflow is not easy. Tim Elsner says that he does not really uh, like the way that I do my videos, reacting and uh, searching around in the software. He would like to have a more uh, right to the point of videos that shows the features uh, after I learned them. And then I explained that this is the way that I've done it. Um, so you can compare yourself to me uh, having to explore those new features, but it's a choice that I made and maybe I will change in the future. We'll see. Nicolas Sarudianski um, says that I did this review unwillingly and the, that it is biased. Uh, because uh, I did not get the product for free. I'm sorry that you feel that way. Um, I tried it, and I think in the past reviews that I made, I was not very biased, and I did always pinpoint the bugs and try to find workaround. Nicola Mards uh, says that the design is very bad and the menus are ugly. Um, and it is nowhere like Studio One. Of course, it's a different DAW, different approach. Um, you get to decide which one you like better. Uh, for me, the decision to go with Samplitude was more about sound and easiness to get, to make a good mix. So, and the look was very secondary for me. Uh, this one, I can't pronounce the name. Uh, says that the new features are nothing new and they exist in other DAWs. Well, good thing that they come to Samplitude now. Um, of course, we hope that those announcements could be free, like everyone else. 
Estelle Cecile point out that Samplitude and Sequoia um, are more competition for uh, Apple Logic, uh, Cubase, Ableton Live, and Pro Tools. And that might be why um, the opinion of uh, the general population is not very good and they don't have a good presence in the social media as well. It is more aimed at professionals compared to other DAWs that appeal to newbies and uh, amateurs. In this long comment, Donnie Thompson explained that he did not upgrade past the Pro X4 suite version and that he wished that um, Samplitude would put out versions bug-free instead of adding many new features uh, that usually you can find uh, in third-party options anyway. Frank in the Philippines says that he does not understand why Magix would not interact more with YouTubers and social media. Um, those are places now that people grab information and usually get motivated to buy. So it's a good point. Ravnan Skonj um, says that he's a user uh, for the past 10 years and he tried this version and was disappointed. A few bugs and not so stable and he wished that uh, new patches would be up soon. And actually there was an update already um, a couple of weeks ago. Um, so hopefully it goes better now. Alf Schumacher uh, says that he is a user uh, for the past 20 years and he's not very fond of all the gimmicks and uh, designs stuff and he's very accustomed to the workflow and likes like it like that but he says that the new upgrades uh, are a bit overpriced Natalia Walker uh, says that um, he stopped at X4 and he finds that the performance and the UI uh, are better in other DOS and that uh, Cubase and Studio One are far more superior. Kyle uh, says that uh, it did not upgrade after X5 and generally finds that the new features are very small. He thinks that Magix tried to find a balance between uh, standard license and subscription. Maybe uh, that is so. Uh, we'll see in the future. Danny and Percy Road Forever finds it very expensive. It's Trans says that it is good, but he has some problems with uh, copying effects over to different channels. And the setting is not uh, going with it. I think it depends on the plugin itself. I use FabFilter plugins and when I copy them, I have no problem with the settings. All right, so I think that everyone agrees about the price. The new uh, versions uh, are not so different, so they should not be uh, that expensive. Um, of course, maybe Magics are pushing for uh, subscriptions based instead of uh, full licenses. I don't know. Uh, thing is, nobody said that it is not a good software and nobody talked about how it sounds, how it is easy to make a good mix, which is all the positive things that I hear about this software. So, and that's why I chose it in the first place. So I will still use Samplitude. I very much like it. Um, I don't very really care about the GUI, the look of things, having little pictures of instrument uh, aside of the tracks. Those are just gimmick for me, so it's not a problem. Um, I wish that uh, the prices would be lower as everyone else. I know that uh, those times are not easy after the pandemic and everything. Uh, but of course, we need to do some business. So the tools that we choose should serve us well. So if you have any comments about this video, if you liked it or not, 
say so in the comments. You can also uh, give me some suggestions for new videos. If you did like the video, please click on like. And if you care about that kind of content, uh, subscribe and hit the bell to get notifications. If you want to help the channel, go in the description. You can uh, click on links to buy magic products. Um, it will help the channel and of course some merch and share those videos. Any videos on the channel will help uh, the channel grow and give you better content. See you for the next one.